Morhame, the Aelid Ruin. It's the small sized Aelid Ruin, and it is inhabited by monsters. When you turn around on any side, there is a chance of a one or two, up to three or four, spawning in, such as this wisp, which thankfully hadn't seen me yet. That is the type that spawns in on the bridge. There are two more that spawn down there near the water. A guaranteed mud crab and an optional mud crab. They are nuisance enemies. They are monsters. Gimme, gimme. I want more. And over there, I don't know what you are. You are a spriggan. Interesting. You still just summon bears. I am far less impressed than I used to be. <laughs> How long are we going to play this game? There we go. All right. Now, we have been here before in order to get Nern Root. And the Nern Root would normally be over here, I think. Oh, God. We're on the map. In this area. But we've already gotten it. So yeah, I just have to make sure it's, it bothers me internally if I don't. Ah. All right. Down into this dungeon. As I said, small dungeon, one zone, one floor. Uh, small is up to, up to how you really feel about this dungeon. Because I'd describe it as medium. Yeah, there you are. Hi. No. 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 Okay, it's dead. Huh. <sighs> So there's pretty much always going to be at least one Minotaur there. Down at the end of the hallway here. And uh, there's pretty much always going to be a Wisp there. They are awful enemies to fight together. But uh, we got the loot from them and we are good to move on. Hmm. Oh. Another Minotaur. Come on, bring me some drugs. We don't fight many of those, and I'm kind of disappointed that we don't. They're a very interesting enemy that I want to talk about. I mean, I've talked about them a little bit in the past, but... Every time I mention it, it might be someone's first time seeing it. Oh, I shot him to death. Oh, that's an awful way to go. Oh. I am sorry. Alright, so we go this way. There is nothing here. We've already gathered it. But this leads down here. To the bottom of this dungeon. Alright. Let's keep our distance from Minotaur Bob there. That's what I'm going to call him, Minotaur Bob. Minotaur Bob is approaching at reckless and danger in dangerous speeds. Minotaur Bob is getting hit with a fireball. Minotaur Bob is dead. Huh? Oh! Oh, an ogre! You're not the worst to deal with right now. I'm at the point in the game where in which I am strong enough to do enough damage to these ogres to kill them quickly enough. Used enough, were enough, enough times in that sentence. Ogres are always going to be a troublesome enemy to deal with when you play Oblivion. Just because ogres have, I think, the most health of any monster in the game. And that is not pleasant to deal with. Huh. 
Huh? Why are you going back? Oh, that's ominous. Alright. Aim for the ogre. Miss. What is it doing? Stop moving. You stay back there, please, sir. Oof. I don't like ogres. I don't like fighting ogres. I have a respect for them as enemies. I would have an even greater respect if they were my ally instead. I'm not really intimidated by that. Oh, that's impressive. I didn't realize it would target me. Hmm. Large, open area. There's a chest right here that I honestly would have missed if I didn't have the map. The loot in it, of course, is randomized, but I think it's a... I think it's, uh... I think it's one of those chests that's almost guaranteed to have a piece of jewelry in it. And if it doesn't have the jewelry, it's probably just gonna have gold for you. Nope! It's a wisp! Get away! Never fight a wisp. If you can avoid a wisp, do it. Alright, so there's eight Welkin stones in this cave in total. We already found four, and there's four more. I'm not really intimidated by these uh, guillotines. Mace of the Undead, turn undead up to level 8 for 25 seconds on strike. That's nice. Disintegrate Armor Tome. That's good. Ah! Destroying an enemy's armor is really important. Especially if you're fighting a human enemy and at later stages in the game. So back there, in between all those guillotines, we looted the boss level chest. And I uh, did miss a chest along the wall over here. I'm gonna go back and get that. Ah, it has an ebony shield. Those don't weigh much, and they're worth a lot, so I'm gonna take it. They're worth more than any uh, any vendor ever has in the game for you. Okay. Over here, there are optional enemies that I believe we've already defeated. With the exception of you, who decided to drop on top of me. You're dead now. And, yeah, that's actually it. Now, the purpose of this Aelid Ruin, I don't actually know or understand. Why do you have all those guillotines? Why do you have what looks like a sacrificial place here? This is such an odd place to have it, too. You're having it in the Swamplands? At the edge of the Swamplands. I understand, I guess, having one is important, and having one in such a damp and dreary place would certainly make it so that people have less morale to escape from you. But at the same time... I think it would be more pleasant for the people involved, or the elves involved, if it was kept a little bit more north. Over near Chaden Hall or Coral. Oh. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I was going the right way. This isn't like the torture paradise that was, uh... What was it? This one. Findizel? Or... Yeah, it was... Fanakasicle. There we go. That's, that's how I'm saying it. Fanakasicle. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If, whoa. 
If you like my stuff, like, comment, subscribe. Check my Patreon, Coffee, and Twitter in the description if you want to support my channel. Thank you all, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!